So the stream effects plugins that we use for a lot of things, in this case, we use that for the partial blur effect. If you just want to blur a small part of your screen, don't work anymore because stream effects plugins are now behind a paywall. You can join that Patreon, but last I checked, it was nearly $11 a month US. Is that, and that's going to be a lot for a lot of people. So I found this alternative way to get you going. So I'll have a link in the description below. You'll go to this link and it's going to take you to this GitHub and you're going to download whatever the most recent installer is going to be. We're using Windows here. They do have a Mac version. So in Windows, I just downloaded the WinInstaller.msi. Um, if you're using Edge or some other browser and it complains about smart screen, doesn't recognize the file, go ahead and allow it. It's safe. At least of this version, it's safe. Install it. You will need OBS closed for that. Once you run that installer, it's just a straight click, click next, next, and it's installed. Then when you launch, I have a pretty simple scene right here. Um, I have my display capture source right here. What we're going to do is we're going to right click. We're going to copy that display capture source. Now we're going to just paste a reference to that source. Okay, after we've done that, we're going to add a group. And this is going to be named partial blur. You can name it anything you want. What we're going to do so this isn't as confusing, we're going to grab this new one that we just made, drag it in there. Now, what we want to do is right click the group folder, just the folder, not the display capture in the folder, but the folder itself, right click and go to filters. Now this is where we'll click the plus sign and add blur. Do whichever type of blur you want. Um, typically Gaussian is pretty good and it's just, you know, just a slider for how blurry you want it to be, whatever you're trying to blur out. Once you have that set and close, click okay. Now, on Windows, you'll hold Alt while still having this group folder clicked on. If it's Mac, I believe you'll hold Option. So, and then press and hold Alt, then click when you have the two arrows to resize and drag. And as you see, as I'm dragging and moving this, it's unblurring things because it's just all it's doing is it's revealing the display capture source behind it. So see, you can see my, my other source there. So if we just want to, you know, blur this part or whatever, and then you can grab it and move around. Now I'm still holding alt the entire time I do this. So, <laughs> so you see, if you do this, you're starting to move, move the whole thing around. So be careful with that. Um, just make sure. Yeah, we definitely don't want to do that. So we just want to resize. So what you're doing is you're cropping what we're showing or not. So if there's a part on a game or something you want to hide, you'll just do this. Whenever you're done, release Alt and you're done. If you need to adjust it some more, you click on that object and hold Alt again and just start dragging it around. I hope this has been helpful for you. Uh, I'll be going through my other tutorials that were dependent on that what used to be free, but is now a very expensive plugin and see what I can find as alternatives for that. Thanks.